Okay, folks, this is a uh, 2007 BMW X3. Uh, it's an inline six three liter engine. And um, I'm just going to give you the quick tour of the air and fuel system on here to supplement the video from yesterday about the truck system. Um, I've taken a couple of panels off. Normally, there's some, I think they call them deco panels or vanity panels. Um, it's supposed to make the motor look pretty so that when people who don't like motors open the hood and they go oh look a pretty motor and all it is is a plastic panel um, you can perhaps see a couple of uh, threaded fittings here and there's a few more back there so there's a panel that would cover up all this ugly stuff right make the rest of it look cute um, I've pulled that all off just to save some time uh, air intake on this actually it lives right up in here underneath the sill uh, There's a couple of fasteners that I've taken out and so there's a very very low profile little fitting in here a little snorkel if you want to think of it that way that would actually be uh, hidden under the hood and then it wraps up over this uh, cross uh, frame here and then right in here is where the air goes down into the air box this is the air box right here and we'll pull the uh, air box lid off real quick. Have a look at the air filter. A couple of buckles. And off it comes. And here's the air filter right here. And no maple leaves in this one. Um, you have a little bit of dust and debris from outside. Uh, engine side of it's pretty clean, so that's all good. And then if you look behind the air box, let me move the camera just a bit more. This would be, this is the mass airflow sensor inside right here. So the air comes into the bottom of the air box, travels upwards through the filter and into this chamber, passes past the mass airflow sensor, and that's the wire for the mass airflow sensor. And then there's a plastic tube here that runs down. There's a flexible accordion tube down there. And then this over here is the intake manifold. Let me swing the camera a little bit. So this intake manifold gets fed from the bottom and uh, way down underneath there is the throttle body. So, and this is a drive-by wire engine um, as most new vehicles are. Uh, drive-by wire basically means that you don't have a physical cable that uh, actuates the throttle the way my truck does. Um, it's basically almost like a rheostat switch. Uh, if you have an old style dimmer light switch in your home where you turn the dial to make it brighter or dimmer, um, picture that same theory in your throttle body. And so when you uh, move the accelerator pedal on, your, on the floor of the car, your gas pedal, you're not actually pulling a cable back and forth. What you're doing is you're actually changing voltage going in and out of this in and out of the throttle body the same way as when you change the voltage on a rheostat switch and that change in voltage um, changes the position of the throttle plate inside there that changes how much air fills up inside this chamber and then you can see these individual runners that feed each of the six cylinders this intake manifolds plastic uh, same with my truck very very common these days for intake manifolds to be plastic um, they actually hold up pretty well unless you get into super over boosting situations where you can pop them apart with too much manifold pressure um, and then let's look at the fuel system here 